and welcome, and I have created, uh, well, you will see, this is an inventory system, and it's rather, um, well, it works very well, so you can see we have apples and cherries, it doesn't look the best right now, but I will make it look better in the future, um, but how this works is, secretly, we have a ton of code back, uh, behind this, and it doesn't use any arrays, it uses a handler, which handles all the information, and it can move all the items and stuff, this is made in Unity, and currently it supports cutting items in half if you want to, um, we have, oh, that's bad, oh no, it worked, it works fine, um, you can add things onto each other. Things won't go above 99, so it'll fill it up to there and it'll leave the one left over. So this is pretty cool because this is what I'm going to be using in my game. And I can set it to do things for, like, placing things in the world. And there's really endless possibilities on what you can do with this system. I'm debating whether or not to release it to the public. Because... I know that it's hard to come by stuff like this, but, um, so, how this works is it doesn't use arrays or anything, and it basically has temporary variables that when we click it, it'll store everything into this, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a temporary storage game object which has a script on it that stores everything when we click here and it moves it to the next one when we click. Um, this was only done in uh, 213 lines of code, so it's not very complicated. I haven't commented really yet, though, but I may do that at some point. Each uh, slot has a number, and that's how it knows which slot it's moving stuff to. So you just, basically, you can expand this to have as many slots as you want. This is built on Unity UI, too. The uh, resources, like the pictures, are all done by name. It's just, like, really easy to use this system. I don't have a system for picking up items or anything yet, but that won't take much time at all. I already have everything basically set up that I need. And, uh, guys, thank you for watching. This is just, I wanted to show it off because I've been working on this for a very long time. I'm sure there's easier ways to do it, but... I made something that works for what I need, so it's all good. Yes, and yeah, I made it so that the uh, cursor changes to the picture when you uh, do that. Um, so guys, thank you for watching, and uh, oh, I also have it so that when you right-click, like, oh, that's not good. One second, I can probably fix that, so when we... Oh, well, I'll fix that in a second. Um, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Oh, that, that, that really annoys me. But we can add just, oh, it didn't do it there. So, if I right click and do that, I right click and do that. Oh, it seems to be working fine. I don't know what I did there. Um, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.